This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. It is Thursday noon, folks. Ted Ralston here in our Think Tech studio is overlooking downtown Honolulu. Uh, of course, we just moved the studio to uh, uh, Kapa'a, I think, this, uh, this particular uh, time for the show Where the Drone Leads. One of our favorite shows here on, on Think Tech, and uh, we normally have someone on. We talk about heavy political, heavy technical, heavy operational subjects related to drones and such. We have drones here on the table. Last week, we had a drone that spanned the entire table. In fact, we need a new table because the drones are getting bigger than the table is. Anyway, today we have uh, one of the more enjoyable aspects of our conversation, and that's where we interview a man on the street here in Hawaii about drones and what popular perceptions exist, what direction Hawaii is going, all these sorts of things. So today's man on the street we selected randomly is none other than, uh, your name, sir? Uh, uh, Fidel. 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 Uh, is that your uh, first name? No, uh, Jay. Jay. Jay's your first name. Fidel okay. was the guy in Cuba. Right, right. He's, yeah. still, he's, he's not here anymore, right? No, that one. Okay. So you are, you are Fidel J or J Fidel? J Fidel. J Fidel. One, yeah. Is there like a middle initial there, yeah. like X or something? I'm the man on the street. You're the man on the street. So J, man on the street, Fidel. Yeah. Welcome aboard, sir. Yeah, Thanks thank for coming on the show much. today. You're, you're Ralston, wasn't That would be, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I can check. Uh, uh, yeah. so I'll something look. about food, about it, dog food or something cereal. like that. Yeah, dog welcome. Food, my, yeah. I have a driver's license that probably has it on. Yeah. And if I was younger, I'd remember it. But <laughs> for this point in time, I just read something and then I go with that. In fact, if moving Jay, right along, moving right along, if uh, there's the rules on a show, no monologues, okay? And state your name and your organization, your association, and such. And if you run out of things to say, you can just turn to the teleprompter. And there's something on there you can probably say. <laughs> OK? So right, Think Tech Away streams live on the internet from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. That would be an example of it. Yeah, OK. OK. You want something? I, I do, yeah. OK, so we're in our uh, Thanks for Think Tank program. Uh, thanks ah, for Think Tank program. Oh, let's talk about Thanks you, you for Think Tank. You probably got some mail about I that. I probably did. Have right. you responded? Yeah. It's very important that you do that. Okay, we have and to stay alive. We need, the, we need the funding. Right. Our business model is the generosity of our hosts, our guests, our underwriters and our directors, and to some extent the public. So the idea is that you as a host would go to the website, you'd make a website, you'd talk to your friends, family, colleagues, and you'd try to get them to make contributions to Think Tech so we can keep on okay, going, pay our operational expenses. And, 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 and thanks for Think Tech sort of sounds like a Thanksgiving theme that people could take, right? It's true. I it's the, the month of November. And Think Tech, right? We side hope side. to raise $40,000. We've raised almost four so far. And we need your help, Ted. Are you helping, Ted? I, I absolutely help. Just tell the people help. out yeah, there. People will absolutely help. But we'll take our man on the streets advice here and, and generate now. By having you say, I am to generate a website, you must be thinking I'm like 16 or younger or something like that. Uh, people well, my we age, have people who will help you do people that. People my age don't do websites. And they will help you write letters to people your friends my, and my age don't do and social media. And, you know? and you're the key. You're the key to our survival, Ted. I, I, okay, I will, uh, I will respond to your, your, uh, your, your um, suggestive pressure, and we'll go forward here. I'll find somebody <laughs> under 16. My wife's actually pretty good at this stuff, so no, I'll no, ask her. It's easy to do it. Yeah. Margie, you got the whole new job, right? <laughs> okay. So uh, the whole issue is here, Think Tank, uh, Think Tech is a think tank. Thank you. Think Tech brings a lot of value to the people. I know it brings value in this particular subject. We popularize information about drones. And uh, you're here for that reason. But I think, I, I once again, will say we'll absolutely take it on the role to generate oxygen and revenue and think funds that keep the place going. Yeah, we okay. gotta we gotta pay the expenses. Otherwise, there's no platform for anybody. And, and you know, and, and here's what I can do. I can volunteer to cut my salary fifty percent. Would that help? In, in uh, yeah, and I could get a raise by ten thousand times. I'd still make about the same. The same as you're making now. Okay, yeah. you're right. Okay, yeah. so we'll keep uh, pushing ahead to get support and keep popularizing the the, the concept of Think Tech Hawaii and the particular. Um, expostulation of information about drones that we do here on a weekly basis. Very important. <clears throat> okay. To keep the people current. Okay, keeping them current. Now, speaking of currency uh, and keeping people current, you have a piece of paper here with nothing written on it. Nothing. Okay, your script, so you're not going to follow a script. No, I'm doing mental today. Mental stuff. You're yeah. actually not good at following scripts, as I recall from past programs, right? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the script wouldn't do any good anyway. Moving right along. Move <laughs> okay. The subject. Uh, drones are going to be taking on a really interesting uh, twist here, probably more than a twist, in the next week or two, and we expect... You know, we had a conversation with Alan Oshima yesterday. You know who that is? I know, I know who very He's much is. He's the CEO Oshima. of yeah. Hawaiian Electric. Yep. 
And uh, he was talking about drones. I thought mm -hmm. of you. I always think of you when somebody talks about drones. Mm -hmm. He was talking about how they have an increased number, and in fact, the utility industry around the country has an increased number of them. Why? Because they can observe the power lines. Uh, they can observe, observe uh, you know, failings in the power lines, mm -hmm. and, and when the power line fails or you know is involved in bad weather, or whatever. Is this part and, of a man on have, the street interview? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm losing it's track. True, here. all okay. of this. And so I was really impressed that uh, you know that's part of their new technology uh, mm -hmm. initiative to have drones. Utility companies need drones too. And if you think about it, you know anybody uh, in business would have a need for a drone. So my question to you, and you can segue to what you want to talk about. Oh, okay. My question to you, Ted, is why don't we have drones everywhere? What's holding us back? Well, that's a very interesting question. Uh, certainly there's policy, procedure, and doctrine that's always a factor that people are worried about. Sounds there's like bureaucracy privacy. to me. Bureaucracy is a factor in there as well. But Hawaiian Electric Company, Alan Oshima and company, and uh, um, Joanne Wilkinson, who actually started the program within uh, HECO about two or three years ago, uh, really uh, saw the value and uh, took the risk, but they did everything right. HECO really stood this program up right. They started with the survey department within the company and went from there into the trouble department and expanded out, showed value, and showed that it can be properly maintained and controlled and, and the risk can be managed. And that's what ECO did. And uh, it, it's now, I think, on its own and it's finding a way forward within the larger organization. But again, it was not done by, by just uh, barging in. It was done by extreme care in making sure that every T was crossed and every I dotted in terms of procedures and having protective equipment on and respecting the rights of people in terms of not being inspected. For Is this your right? answer to my question? It was a very long answer, wasn't it? Yeah, they well, did it no, but I right like way. it. I like the answer. But I think what you're alluding to is that not everybody can do that. I think that a organization that uh, may not have the, 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 the structural behavior that HECO has or a large infrastructure may not uh, be able to follow those, those, those stipulations and, and guidelines and such and would have some run into some problems here and there. But so uh, small companies, uh, however, like uh, wedding photography and things like this, real estate photography, there's a lot of that going on. We've had Mike, um, uh, um, Mike, give Mike. his name. That right, Mike. Mike. Yeah, at, at Drone Service Hawaii on the show many times. Yeah, many times. And uh, he was going to do some drone work for ThinkTech because we could use some drone work. We you need B-roll. Talk to him. B -roll, we need B-roll, right? We need B-roll. Okay. That means roll background roll to use that okay. with movies, right? Because we have a regular mm -hmm. movie on Mike OC16. Elliott. And we need, you know, we could really use some drone work. Will you talk to so him? So with Mike Elliott and, and his partner on Lanai, George Purdy, yeah. we will uh, take the obligation to yeah. uh, get some B-roll for you. That would be good. And in fact, if, if maybe one thing we could do here is suggest a mission or a particular event that uh, ThinkTech is on and go uh, partner up with that and, yeah. and get the actual live data from it as, as you're Yeah, we have several event. things going on. So can okay. you can, uh, give me Not give for me the next couple days, just so everybody knows. The president's coming to town, so well, there's the a temporary flight restriction, nothing flies yeah. on a wall. Yeah, we have expectations from him, too. And they are so, what? No, uh, oh, oh that there's was a, not enough time here okay, today, okay. Ted, sorry. All right. <laughs> well, what I was getting at, and, and thank you for allowing me to, to uh, get back to the, 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 the script on the teleprompter no, no, feel, right there. Feel free. Okay. Uh, was it... Um, the Department of Transportation uh, is following suit behind a presidential announcement of last week, and there will be pilot programs competed, and someone's going to win the competition for putting systems like this in operation on a daily basis near airports in a city near you. We certainly hope that one of those cities near you is, is Lanai City in the one case for testing and Honolulu in the case for operations. So uh, we're going to kind of beginning to gather the troops about with ideas and, and uh, capabilities that can support a Hawaii response to this uh, solicitation. So it's, it's just a competition of something. It's going to be well. We don't actually, you know, we don't know because in, in tomorrow we'll hear from the Department of Transportation what they have in their mind, and uh, to show how fast this is moving, Department of Transportation (FAA) just announced this morning, just an hour or two ago, that they're going to have this big webinar three times uh, tomorrow and Monday to provide information. So they're moving as fast as... as uh, from Washington. As yeah, from Washington. So Washington's actually moving fast. And uh, there's something behind this we don't quite understand at this point in time. But <clears throat> we're going to need congressional delegation support and understanding 
because nothing happens in the world of FAA in Washington without a good strong connection there. We may need connection with a few other states. We have this Pan-Pacific Unmanned Air Systems Test Range notion, as you know, and that may be an authorization and, a, and an authority, so to speak, that's useful to us. We'll find that out. A lot, of, lot to be discovered in the next couple of days. We'll have a guest on next week, David Place, uh, Ponoho boy, of course, who will be telling us about what he's come up with uh, on where this is all going. We have a lot of NASA investment and research the last uh, five years in a program called UTM, Unmanned Traffic Management, which contributes to this. Our job, your job too, as the man on the street, is going to be to collect all these threads, pull them together into vectors, and summarize all those into a compelling proposal that cannot be turned down. Well, the guy who was going to show up today is going to be, he'd rather hear the webinar first. Uh, good, you should have him back to report on the webinar. Oh, I, he's coming on next Thursday. And, yeah. you know, he can record it too, you know. Uh, and we do that a lot. These, yeah. uh, these, uh, these, these programs take on a life of their own yeah. afterwards on yeah. YouTube. And that, yeah. that's so a really maybe, maybe bring cool it back you know, for the show and we can hear a small, small part of it anyway uh -huh. to see what the essence is. Mm -hmm. But my big question to you about this is, uh, and, you know, uh, you must know some part of the answer already, is what happens if you win? What happens if they select you and bestow you? <laughs> what are they bestowing on you? Well, it looks like they'll be bestowing for the first time ever in this domain of FAA solicitations as funding to cover a project. Federal government money? That would be what I would call it right Is this now. a research project? Or it would be project? a research, well, we, again, we'll know tomorrow after yeah. we hear more. Well, You're we might know You're making me more tomorrow. curious every minute. Well, yeah. every day we're getting more curious and getting more information. We'll yeah. we really nail this thing good and hard next Thursday on this show, but yeah. uh, we'll hear the first dribs of information from the FAA coming out tomorrow. Presumptive, presumptively, there's going to be uh, uh, funding coming at this, um, and there will be, the funding will generate uh, like a crawl, walk, run approach, where you crawl a little bit first, lanai, then you walk, maybe remote parts of Oahu, and then you run, Honolulu. Mm. So some kind of a staged mm. uh, evolution of... So make me the FAA. Make you the FAA? Make, make me the FAA. Okay. Okay, and uh, so we're having the webinar, or we're otherwise in touch. And I say to you, Ted, you know, there's a lot of states want this. There's a lot of organizations around the country want this, and they're capable, and they have lots of engineers and experience, and, and drones for that matter. They have capital, they've developed it and all. Why should I come to Hawaii? What is it about Hawaii that makes it interesting for me uh, you know, in the FAA. I think there's a really answer, good answer to that, uh, Mr. FAA. Thank you. And that is that Hawaii has a very complex uh, uh, airspace environment. We've got the very low level traffic, which is unmanned air systems. We've got the helicopter traffic with tours, which is above that. We've got the VFR traffic above that. We've got the airlines and we've got the military. We've got this bunch of pancakes of, of, of air usage here. Plus we've got uh, a fairly uh, strenuous uh, wind and turbulence environment especially uh, Kona wind is one thing, uh, trade wind is the other, and we have the Ko'olaus, which intercept that and generate big uh, downdrafts on the leeward side, a lot of turbulence. Good for testing. Say again? Good for testing the drones, yeah. Yeah, yeah perfect for that. And, and, and we have rainstorm, bands of rain that periodically uh, come through. Mm -hmm. So if you can solve the problem in Hawaii and make it work in Hawaii, you can probably make it work anywhere. That's Wouldn't you be argument. concerned there's, there's a lot of aircraft up there anyway? Uh -huh. You know, if yep. I'm in Arizona in the desert, there's not much competing aircraft here, lots of it. But guess what we have? We have the island of Lanai, already a certified UAS test range area, mm -hmm. and the same situation you described in Arizona applies on Lanai. There isn't much traffic. So we can test these things and test them to exhaust, exhaustion technically in that environment, and then where there's no competing traffic, and bring them over here to Oahu and examine them in the presence of real traffic. What a great combination. Well, but, but yeah, the other thing they require, and this is the same thing with Amazon and a few years ago with, uh, was it Google? They wanted to come to Hawaii and bestow things on us. You know, in the case of Amazon, they want to bestow some kind of Amazon uh, fulfillment center. In the case of Google, they wanted to make us a, a Google special place. They're going to give us uh, broadband and wireless and all that. We, we didn't succeed on Google. I doubt we're going to succeed on Amazon. But, you know, the question is will. It's will of the existing industry, of guys like you, your friends, um, the industry as it, as it exists, the, uh, and the research component of the industry as it exists. Um, do we have what it takes? Do we have the, you know, the feist? Do we, ha do we have the vitality to do it? And, and in asking that question, we go back, say, two years, you and I spoke about this. We were designated, I guess, by the FAA 
<coughs> as part of a special deal <coughs> with Alaska, some kind of special region to test on drones. What have we done? Have we, have we met their expectations? Uh, are we a leader because of that? What have we done to fill that space, so to speak? And does that show that we have necessary vitality to meet the expectations of the FAA for this program now? Are you running for office? Just observing. Okay, just observing. Okay, on that the was street, a, on the street. For, for a guy as an off the street man on the street interview, that was a serious challenge and a question. Let's pick up the answer to that after I have a chance to think about it during our break. <laughs> this is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Guys, don't forget to check me out right here at the Prince of Investing. I'm your host, Prince Dykes. Each and every Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Hawaii time, I'm going to be right here. Stop by and hear from some of the best investment minds across the globe in real estate, finances, stocks, hedge funds, managers, all that great stuff. Thank you. Living in this crazy world, so caught up in the confusion, nothing is making sense. find a way there's got to be solution how to make a brighter day what do we do we've got to give a little love have a little hope make this world a little better so try a little more more than ever before Welcome back to the second half of our show, Where the Drone Leads, folks. Uh, Ted Ralston here hosting our show from the downtown Honolulu studios of Think Tech. And uh, as you heard from our uh, man on the street, uh, random cho randomly chosen Very interview, random, yeah. Really. Yeah. Random is uh, good. We have yeah. a campaign going on to uh, generate the in revenue, income, well, any way you want to do it. Even, yeah, yeah, even don't forget. Give us your house Thanks mortgages. for Think Tech. Ted yeah. here is going to be uh, talking to you and trying to get you to make a contribution to Think Tech so we can keep going. It's very important that we raise some money. Okay, okay. right? Got that? I yeah. got that. And uh, I, I even volunteered. I got to do it now. Cut it's my November. Uh, we're well into and... November already. What's the, today's November second already? Yeah, yeah okay. we're well into November. For a man on the street, you come with some really sharp knives. I know what no. day of the week it is, okay. Ted. I'm really something. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Anyway, Jay Fidel, welcome back practice, on. Education, J. contemplation, M. Fidel. and thinking. And have you been thinking during our one minute break about the question I put to you before? Right, and I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, stress our audience with a two minute no, it's re you restatement I of the, stress, of the, the answer. Audience, yeah. uh, but yeah. the question that uh, our man on the street interviewee uh, selected was. Uh, it was twofold, actually. In fact, some of it might have been a leading question. It might, might not be admissible in court. But it had to do with uh, what ho has Hawaii done with the designation of an unmanned uh, test range, and what makes Hawaii unique, and what's Hawaii going to do? And if Hawaii won this thing, what are we going to do about it? Really, well, that's, good, that's a good follow-up question. That was yeah. where you started. So I'll I just, ask you that I just question. took your questions in reverse yeah, and just you. struck them that way. Because yeah, yeah. the easier one to handle, I can think while I'm answering the first one about how I might answer the second one. <laughs> now okay. I know your secret. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just read the teleprompter. That's what my secret is. <laughs> sure. Okay. So anyway, uh, what has Hawaii done? I, I, that's a most interesting question. Just the setting the stage here, the FAA didn't contribute any money or Congress didn't put any money on that. It was simply a designation. Hawaii, Alaska, Oregon, now Mississippi, and Kansas were bundled together and became the extreme. It's a logical grouping. Right. Well, as you know, the Pacific Ocean used to lapse at the shores of, uh, of the Midwest back in the, in the Pleistocene era. So those are really Pacific states if you go back in your geography far enough. So, uh, this is going to be on the final exam. Yes, it will be. So anyway, uh, we are the, the, the extreme climate states. They have twisters and they have nasty weather in the wintertime. We have nasty weather all day long. We have saltwater intrusion. We have all kinds of things that... Electronics and, and, and uh, mechanical systems just uh, fail under when we expose them to our environment. So we, that's what the role that Hawaii and the other states have. Um, and for that designation, we have a lot of latitude in terms of operation beyond the limits of the, of the FAA today uh, to, to expose uh, systems to these kind of limits. So we've had probably a dozen inquiries from companies who want to come out here and test. Uh, systems. In fact, some of them aren't interested in having their names known because it's, that can be considered proprietary information. But our environment is useful for what we call function and reliability testing. That means you just do lots of cycles and try to basically beat them up. Find the failure points. If you find the failure points here, 
fix that, then the thing's going to work in Yuma, Arizona a lot better than it would if we didn't find Who's that. Who's doing so, it? Who's doing that? Well, Here. The, the university has uh, arrangements with uh, certain areas, including our own property, where that can be done. And um, we've got, again, several companies that are asking for that uh, capability. Second thing is that's opened up is the, what's called the beyond line of sight operations. Beyond line of sight means right now you can't fly these things more than about a quarter mile as far as you can see them. But uh, by careful development of the software design in the flight management system and ground surveys and ADSB and other sensor systems, it is possible to show that you can be safe beyond line of sight. And that's a very interesting area to the Does FAA the technology well. take us there now? I mean, can you in fact do oh, line of sight right you can. now? The question, can you do it at an economic scale that is and going is to be useful legal? to the, well, the economic scale first and then a legal level, you have to have, of course you have to meet the requirements. What kind of a man on the street are you anyway? You're asking all these legal questions. You do a lot of walking on the street. You do a lot of walking, yeah. okay. Well, they must make you think a lot when you do the walking because <laughs> the questions are hard to answer. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's what Hawaii has done. Hawaii has actually used that authorization to open discussion and dialogue with companies, including one just uh, this week. And uh, that's also given us an authority, however, to work beyond just business and work with our own important agencies, fire department, police department, the Pacific Command, the Coast Guard, and such. So we've actually done a lot of... Uh, Who's we? We, well, the University of Hawaii Applied Is Research it, you're, Lab. You're there. I'm the you're, director You're the of drone the, man there. One of them. There's, we have Josh Levy, who was on the show last week, who was our coordinator. We've got uh, Joshua Baghdadi, who is our, uh, our recently hired, uh, uh, what we call, Spectrum guy. And we have Noah Hefner, uh, also fairly recently hired, who is our uh, big data and analyst. I think so four people. I, what's emerging here, I mean, I don't know if you've said it in so many words, is that <clears throat> you have been a leader in this. I mean, and part of it actually has been your show here in Think Tech. But you have been a leader of it, and you're a magnet for other people. And now you're at the Applied Research uh, Center at the University in Manoa. This makes the university a magnet, right? And, and I think when you say we, you're saying the university, and he's saying that, I'm saying that there's a lot of people out there in organizations that do not have drones, do not have, have expertise in drones, who are gonna be calling on you, because you're gonna be the, the coordinator, the expert, and the leader in this area. So, um, gee whiz, um, this, this, is, this is all a phenomenon that's happening right here in our doorstep. And it happened, a lot of it happened right here. So what people can do is they can call on the University Applied Research Lab, for guidance, for programs, for partnerships, for work with the students, work with the companies, work with the Department of Defense and agencies, whatever it may be, and we're, we're glad to use our equipment. And you'll help them? Uh, absolutely, we'll help charge them. Charge them? Do you charge them? We can't charge them, but we can generate programs together and put our students in, in, on these programs and, and go do development work that also leads, lets the kids find a place where they might work when they're done with school. Yeah, and the second you mean the thing kids knows, in school? The kid, the, I mean the kids in UH? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so actually, kids, how do I get into your program? I want to do this. Um, are you, <laughs> I mean, I'll be a student. What, okay. what do I study and who do I write the to? The two things you have to do. How much time have to, do I have to do? Why don't you get in? a hold, I'll give you my card, you can get a hold of me, and we can bring you in and Ralston, train you. was it? That would be it, and, yeah. and we can show you how to operate these things, show you how to design software. The other thing you can do is contribute to our fundraising campaign here at Think Tech. At Think Tech. Okay, right, we yeah. gotta make sure we yeah. continue to think about that. So if you're gonna be a partner of ours, we probably also want you to be a contributor financially to our yeah. overall success. Yeah, that includes Think you, Tech. by the way. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and I think this uh, brings us pretty much to the end of our uh, the end of our oh, man I'm on the sad. street interview. I, I me, was just me too. To I was. Uh, it. We even didn't even get to see by answering the question the way I answered. I avoided having to answer your other question, which, which was I, the, the question you started with. What is? Uh, have you forgotten the question already, prosecutor? No, no. Oh, no, okay. No, no. Uh, it must have been, must have been important to you, you otherwise going, you wouldn't have asked keep it. Keep going. And that was what's Hawaii going to do if Hawaii actually wins this thing? Yes. Now let's talk about that next time on this same show. After the FAA uh, webinar right. tomorrow, I'm so right. excited about that. Me too. You have to tell us I'll about it. I'll send you the link and you can join in. We'll all be waiting. We'll all be participating. Right. We want to know everything. We all do. Okay. Dave Fidel, thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you, Ted. Here at Think Tech Hawaii. Yeah, Ralston, and, uh, wasn't it? Right, yeah, don't forget to contribute to our campaign. Yeah, and, and the same to you, sir. Okay, very good. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you all next week, folks. Thanks for Think Tech.